<laughs> hmm. Has that always been there? Is someone in there? Huh. I guess I can take a quick look inside. Not like it'll take a long time for me to explore it. Hello? Anyone in here? I could have sworn I heard something. Oh well, guess I better head back. Don't want to keep Midas waiting too long for me. Hey, 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 it's your boy, Jack Golden, and I'm here to cut you in on a little secret. Ever wonder how we make so many sweet, tasty Fortnite flicks? No? What's my job? So too bad. Introducing Wondershare Filmora 10, the state-of-the-art, easy-to-use video editing software that's perfect for beginners. Film school? Uh-uh, son. All you need is Filmora 10. Whether you're making creative videos or want to launch that star-studded YouTube career, Filmora's slick and easy interface means you don't need to spend hours bogged down with a uh, learning and the massive library of templates, presets, filters, transitions, and more will give your videos professional pizzazz. When Hollywood calls, you got me on speed dial, right? But don't take my word for it. Let's dig in and see how this sausage is made. First, we'll drag and drop a clip into the timeline and we can start editing right away. Filmora also comes with a ton of advanced features too. In fact, I use the chroma key to add myself in this very video. If that ain't meta, I don't know what to tell you, man. If you're looking for more video and audio effects, you can go to the online stock library, Film Stock, to browse over 10 million assets. So don't be a lazy bum. Hit the link below and try for more for free and make something real nice for your boy Jack. But that's not all, baby. Comment below and let us know what you want to make with Filmora. Or share the video with the hashtag Newscape Pro Filmora, and we could choose you to win a free Filmora account. All right, all right, back to the video. All right, Grimy, this time we're using the door. That's right, no creeping without permission. Someone could be showering, or worse, eating. Knock, knock. Oh, hello, Midas! You aren't selling chocolates again, are ya? Not another one of those pyramid schemes, am I right? Ah! Hey, hey, it was just a joke! A prank, bro! Don't move, Grimer! I think his name's Gremlin. Actually, it's Grimy. The first one's a Pokemon, the second's a movie. But, but, but come on! What's with the hostility around here? I turned good last time, remember? Come on! Agent Meowsos has gone missing and not responding to his calls. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? No, oh, I kidnapped him like twice, and now suddenly I get blamed the third time he's gone? So what you're saying is you had nothing to do with his recent disappearance? Yeah, we're like practically best friends now. Hey, Kitty Bro's my best friend. Nah, -uh. you snooze, you lose, pal. According to his location, it's believed he's southwest of the island. Oh wow! You couldn't have just done that the first time? You just had to get swingy with me, didn't ya? Silence. Yes, sir! Why would Meowsles be gone for so long and not tell anyone? Oh, I hope he's alright. <laughs> Likewise, I shall travel to this location to investigate further. Sky, Cluck, can I trust the two of you to handle him. I'm going with you! I want to make sure Kitty Bro is okay! Very well. I won't try and stop you then. Come now, Sky. Cluck, this monster is now in your hands. Sure thing, Midas. Good luck, you two. So, like, do you eat chicken? Excuse me? Nothing! This is the last known location based off of Agent Meowsu's transmitter. How strange. Ollie and I have explored every inch of this island, but never seen this place before. Ollie! To no surprise, the island is constantly changing, constantly bringing new terrors. Hmm. 
sky. Why don't you wait for me outside? Huh? Well, why? I'm not scared. Molly. Yeah, what Ollie said. We're not leaving until we find Kitty Bro. I can assure you, that is not why I'm sending you away. Sky, please listen. <sighs> You're the boss, boss man. Still calling me that, are we? Perhaps I should continue to refer to you as Agent Sky. Yeah, you better! Ollie! Ah, <sighs> show yourself and tell me, what is it that you want? You. It can't be. Are you a reincarnation of- I am not who you think I am, Midas. I am Aurelia. Aurelia? And how do you know my name? I know more than just that. I know your legend, both yours and your daughter's. As well as the battle you had with Oro. What do you want? Are you here to reclaim the light? Is that what it is? Because I do not have it. I'm not your enemy, Midas. I am merely here to assist you. Assist me? In what way? Your daughter, Marigold. She resents the power of the light. Believes it to be a curse. Is she wrong? Where are you going with this? I can lift it off of her. Lift it off of your family. Lift the curse. You can't take back this curse! Not after everything you've done! What is it that you want, Marigold? What I want? I... I just want my dad back. I'm here. And I don't want anyone to hurt us. This curse, it's... Too much! We're here because of that curse! I'll do everything in my power to get rid of it for you. For us. What kind of games are you playing? Surely it cannot be that easy. It never truly is, is it? I only request two things from you. You see, humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. What are you getting at here? To obtain, something of equal value must be lost. This is a friend of yours, is he not? So you were the one that took him? Yes. And I do believe you brought another person dear to your heart as well? Sky. I can lift the curse from both you and your daughter Midas. But in return, I'll take their souls. They no longer have the power of the light. What purpose do they serve to you? What does it matter? You've already betrayed them once for your daughter, have you not? What's once more? Tell me. Where is this Marigold? <clears throat> this wasn't me, was it? Regardless, Dad and I have a lot of cleaning up to do. A lot of apologies to issue out. Guess I'll start with you. Please don't try and kill me.
So, I believe I've given you enough time to think about it. What is your final decision? Will you choose them? Or your daughter? Your family? Meowsles. Sky. Are my family. They believe in me. Trust me. I will not break their trust a second time. Oh? Even for your own daughter? I believe she would agree with me as well. If we have to live with that curse, then so be it. We'll deal with it one way or another. Now, I've stated my decision. Unhand him and leave. <laughs> Very well. I shall honor your decision, though, I will admit, it's not the one I was expecting. We'll meet again, Midas. For as long as the power of the light runs through your family, you will never truly be gone. Ugh. Em? W w what happened to me? Why don't you tell me? What is the last thing you recall? Ugh. Found myself in this abandoned ruin. Can't say I remember anything else. You came here by yourself, Em? No. Agent Sky came along with me. She was worried about you. Come now. She's waiting outside for us. 1,484! 1,485! 1,486! Agent Sky, we've returned. <gasps> Kitty bro! Is that... Is that you? Hey, sis. That's right. You haven't seen me in my new look. What do you think? You look... So cool! Yeah? You really think so? Of course! Oh, oh! Can I look like that too? Tell me your secrets! <laughs> well, I can surely introduce you to my friend Grimy. Wait, Midas? Is that the one you threatened to kill? I... well... Um... Hey, he was just really worried about you. We all were. Really? Is that true, Em? <clears throat> well, can't proceed on with our plans with one of our top agents missing. Oh, hush! You're a big softy, aren't you, boss man? Hmm. <laughs> All right, Sky. Enough with poking the bear. Yussels! Did you just call boss man a bear? It's a figure of speech, Sky. Speeches don't have figures, kitty bro! Don't take things literally. Yeah, <sighs> what would I do without the both of you? <laughs>